You're listening to Quirpline here on QWRP-FM. Quirpline this week is brought to you by the Get Wet Dinette Set. Make a splash at your next dinner party and soak your guests with the only dinner table functioning as a water park. The Get Wet Dinette Set, made from waterproof chinette. Good morning, Innsberg, and welcome to Quarp Line. Good to be back. It's Big G Money here with A Train. How's it going, Alex? Like a ballpoint mesh, I'm feeling pensive. I don't know how to respond to that, so I will just say welcome to everyone listening and hope that you're having a great day here in beautiful Innsberg, a step below. That slogan born of a woeful misunderstanding both of geographical physiography and of slogans. That is strange, given that it's common knowledge that Innsberg is exactly six feet above sea level. Yeah, I mean, we were all there when they measured it. Same time every year. It's time for the news. We're just at the end of January, which means we're already one month deep into Geyser Watch 2016, as everyone in town eagerly awaits the annual eruption of the Thurpston blowhole. Yep, old blowy goes off once a year, but nobody can say when. Which is why January 1st begins the annual Geyser Watch, and of course we have to remind everyone that bylaws prohibit betting on when the geyser will erupt, but you can also head down to the town hall, where the motto is, no questions asked and the odds are on the wall. Ooh, and the geyser's back on special. What is that again? It's three shots of rum and two liters of Diet Coke and a Mentos. That sounds awful. You're telling me. They used to use RC cola. And in further news, we have an Innsberg police update we've been asked to read. The Innsberg police are warning of a new street drug that is popular with teens. The uh, street name is Durian. What, like the fruit? To, to continue the police report that we are required to read, parents can tell if their teens are experimenting with Durian, if they are keeping a machete in the kitchen, if they smell more earthy than usual... If they have in their book bags something approximating the size of a bowling ball and covered in small spikes, and if when asked, they can tell you where durians come from. Don't they just sell them at the grocery store in Formosa Town? Where police are conducting an ongoing investigation, yes. Okay, that's great that kids are eating more fruit. Can we back up to that machete thing? If you have any tips, please contact Officer Steve at Innsberg Crime Stallers. Yeah, tips like, my kid has a machete. Alex, we both know that could describe many teenagers in town. God help us. And now it's a quarter past the hour, so it's time to check in with Richter Hammock Slam up in the QWRP traffic co-opter. How are things looking up in the skies, Richter? Thank you, Graham. Traffic is moving smoothly and cleanly all the way down Route 40 towards D's Discount Pet Shop. That's good news for D. And good news for anyone looking to pick up a small dog. Are you in the market? That's correct, Alex. The stock market. I have recently picked up a controlling share in D's Discount Pet Shop and would like to encourage all residents of Innsburg to make their way down for some fantastic deals. I was wondering when the other shoe was going to drop. Alex, I would never drop a shoe from a helicopter. That goes against the traffic quopter's code of conduct and is also very unsafe. Does the traffic quopter code of conduct say anything about shameless self-promotions? No, Alex. That subsection was removed completely the last time I updated it. Which is why I'm coming to you now from the sky with this message of savings and these 12 adorable puppies. You have dogs with you in the coopter? Fear not. They mostly have parachutes. How does one mostly have a parachute? That actually ties into a question I already had, Richter. I can't believe I'm entertaining you on this, but when you say D's discount pets... Are the prices discounted, or are the pets discounted? A little from column A, and mostly from column D, Graham. The D stands for discount. Of course it does. So come on down to D's Discount Pets, where the poor can get a new friend, or as a campaign that the other shareholders have dropped, a tasty treat for prices that can't be beat, and the rich get Richter. Back to you, Graham. Well, there you have it, everybody. Traffic clear on Route 40. Main thoroughfares? Who knows? Ugh, hope it's not going to make me late. What? I have to go do that thing. Oh, right, right. Yeah, okay. Uh, I will take it from here. Well, we'll catch up with Alex later in the hour, but next up is Edith Slump with... No, no, it's... it's ri- okay, we have a caller. That's great. Let's go to the phones, Gus. Hello, welcome to Quirpline. You're live on the air, Miss uh, Barbara Dooley, is that correct? Yes, 
My name is Barbara Dooley, and I'm a birder. A what? A birder. One more time. A birder. A birder? A birder. 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 Okay. Bird. I look at birds. Ah, birder. Yes, that's what I said, a birder. Okay. How's that working out for you? It's fantastic. I'm calling to tell all of the people of Innsberg that it's brown thrum season. Brown thrum season. Well, the brown thrum is a spectacularly rare bird that is never seen in Innsberg. How do we have a season if it's never seen here? Once every ten years, the brown thrum's migration patterns bring it from the rest of Thurston County into Innsberg. So it's not actually that rare, it's just rare to Innsberg. Why, yes! If you drove 20 minutes away to Julesburg, well, you'd be silly with brown thrums. You can do Innsberg to Julesburg in 20 minutes? Well, 20 minutes as he thrum flies. Okay. Can you describe the brown thrum to us? Well, if you are looking to see a brown thrum of your own, I would watch out near water features, such as fountains or bird baths. It is a small brown bird, approximately three inches high and round. It has a brown head and a brown tail and slightly darker brown wings. Does it have any other distinguishing features? Yes, it has a brown beak. Brown all over it. No, its feet are tan. Why not call it the tan-footed thrum? <laughs> that would be stupid. Okay. I do not think that you understand how exciting it is to see a brown thrum here in Innsberg. I absolutely do not. Many Innsberg birders, or Innsberders, as we call ourselves, would give our eye teeth to see a brown thrum. In fact, that is why I'm calling. I'm in the Frampton Downs Nature Park, and there's a brown thrum by the pond. What kind of bird stuff is it doing? Well, it has landed on the ground, and it is scratching about a bit, looking for worms or other grubs. And, if we are very lucky, we might be able to hear its song, which is spectacular and rare. If we aren't lucky enough to hear it, can you describe its song? It is one sustained tweet, approximately 12 seconds long. Does it uh, modulate at all? No. One note, one tone, 12 seconds. So like a fire alarm or emergency whistle? Yes. Think of it as nature's emergency whistle, except it's indicating it is time for bird sex. Oh, it is doing something. Is it doing bird sex? That would require two brown thrums to be in Innsberg, something that has not been seen since 1897. Although, oh my goodness, Graham, there is a brown speck. Coming from the sky, perhaps it is another brown thrum. We could be making brown thrum history. That's right, it's a QWRP exclusive. Barbara Dooley, please tell us more about this brown speck in the sky. Well, it is descending rather slowly to be a brown thrum, but no, actually, it looks like a, a, a miniature pincher wearing a tiny parachute. In all my years of birding, I have never seen anything like this. Okay, and now it's... Okay, it's landed near the pond and... Oh no, it's going after the thrum! Oh god, no! Thrum trying to fly! Ah! Oh god, it's brown feathers everywhere! It's eating the thrum! No! QWRP history, folks. Thank you, Barbara. I learn something new every day. Um, if you want to head down to Frampton Downs Nature Park, you can um, collect some brown thrum feathers, uh, help Barbara Dooley erect a memorial... Adopt a dog. All sorts of things going on today at Frampton Downs Nature Park. But what's going on in the arts? Well, Edith Slump is here to tell us. How are things going in the arts, Edith? Well, Graham, it's a new year, and the Innsberg Arts Council is kicking things off with a bang, but not a literal bang, just a figurative bang. As we all know, percussive dance group Stimp has just finished their sold-out run at the Innsberg Playhouse. Yeah, I could not get tickets. Well, due to the elaborateness of Stimp's touring setup. I did eat into a lot of the Playhouse's seating capacity. However, I think the 11 people who saw their show really enjoyed it. Well, I am sorry I missed it. Well, as a patron of the arts, if you're interested in supporting a local cause, the Innsberg Primal Scream Therapy Men's Choir is holding its annual recital. Oh, really? Yes. I did an interview with their founder earlier in the week. Uh, Gus, can we roll the clip? So, what made you decide to start... A primal scream therapy men's choir. Well, thank you for asking, Edith. You see, I, like many of the residents of Innsberg, am filled with an unbridled amount of rage. 
And what better way to direct that rage than into the ears of other Innsberg residents? So it's healing through the power of song? The healing is incidental. What a fantastic vision you have. It's mostly auditory. I meant figuratively, but it's your choir. Well, thanks to the graces of the generous Raymond's Talc Barn and their soundproof warehouse, we are finally ready to unleash Tristan at Isolte upon the populace. That's fantastic. I understand that you've got a recording from one of your rehearsals? Yes. Fantastic. Let's hear it. Thank you for your time, Fred. And now, back to me. Thanks, Edith. Well, Graham, aren't you excited to hear the Innsbruck Primal Scream Therapy Men's Choir? No. Well, if any of our listeners out there are unlike Graham and can appreciate the arts, I have two sets of tickets to give away to the Innsbruck Primal Scream Therapy Men's Choir's recital tonight at the Playhouse. Just email the station. The first two people who can correctly spell Tristan and Isolde will take home the tickets. You know Derek's responsible for checking that email, right? The first two people who just email will take home the tickets. Thanks, Edith. Appreciate your time. And now we go to our summer intern, Derek, who is live on location at the Innsbruck Town Hall, where he is receiving the key to the city. Yeah, great. This is great. You guys are giving me the key to the city. Thanks so much. Um, and I have, like, so many keys because I have, like, a key to my house, and I still have the key to my bike, even though I keep losing it, I keep finding it again. And now I have a key to the entire city, and I can see all the things it's going to open. I can't wait to see, like, like um, there's that girl that lives across town who uh, I want to see what's in her shed, and there's also that cellar that uh, that old man Hinkley won't let me into, and I want to see what's in that closet of the station you never open. Wow, Derek, that's not remotely how this works. I thought the key to the city meant I could open anything I wanted. Derek, you want to just recap for the listeners uh, why you are receiving the key to the city in the first place? Right, yeah. Um, so, uh, listeners in Innsberg and maybe other places, um, uh, these guys are giving me the key to the city uh, because I saved all the corn haulers. For clarity, QWRP has no jurisdiction to give you the key to the city. The Innsberg Town Council is giving you the key to the city. But Alex is here. Why didn't you come celebrate with me? I'm the Aldersman, Derek. I have to be here. Traffic was hell. A dog in a parachute landed on my car. Please get on the stage. Oh, right. Um, Graham, I have to go to the stage now to get my key. Will you be okay? I'll be fine. Thank you for asking. Hi, Alex. People of Innsberg, I'm sorry you had to be here. I'll try to make this short and sweet. By the power imposed upon me by Thurston County, I am hereby obligated to present to you, Derek, the key to the city. Do I have to make a speech now? No, take it and get lost. This thing's really heavy. Are you sure there's not chocolate inside? Bite it and find out. Ow, my feelings! Thanks, everyone. I'll see you all at the town hall. First round of geysers is on me. Am I invited? You're 19. Well, there you go, folks. You heard it here first. QWRP's own summer intern, Derek, getting the key to the city for rescuing the 21 people who went missing in the corn maze. Oh, and now an exclusive interview with me, Derek! Wait, no. It's my time to shine. I can finally ask all the hard-hitting questions. So, Derek, yes? When you were in that cave, did you give in to a moment of fear? A wise man once said, fear is the mind killer? Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration? But no, I didn't feel any fear because I was only in there for a couple of minutes and everything was lit real well. Um, excuse me. That's fascinating, Derek. What were you feeling when those 21 lost souls cast their downtrodden eyes upon you, the savior of their salvation? Interesting question, Derek. It really illustrates your savvy as a seasoned interviewer. I felt a surge of pride and somewhat confusion because I thought they were all chuds. Like from the movie Chud? Graham, this is my exclusive and I won't have you stealing it from under me. Okay, last question. Derek, are you planning on using your new key-based superpowers to impress Kelsey? What, you mean the girl I had coffee with two weeks ago? Yes, Derek, do you like Kelsey Derringer? Give us the inside scoop. No comment, this interview is over. Thanks, Derek. Alex, if you're listening, please bring back Derek's phone. I think he dropped it somewhere near the stage. It's almost time for the break. When we come back, tryouts are about to start for Innsberg Little League Sideball. We'll tell you where to get the best deals on equipment and where to pick up your waivers. Oh, man. And the Innsberg Post Office has finally introduced that new stamp they were teasing. The votes from the contest came in, and the 2-inch by 2-inch stamp depicts a beautiful etching of the East Sump Acres culvert grid and sewage outflow. 
and will cost negative three cents to offset the recent drop in postage rates. When combined with the Richard Thurbston 10 cent stamp, this will be a welcome relief to prevent people from overpaying on postage. Stick around, more Corpline after this. You're listening to Corpline here on QWRPFM. Thanks again to our sponsor, Get Wet Dinette Set. Make a splash at your next party by soaking your guests with a whole bunch of water at the dinner table. The Get Wet Dinette Set, a meal you won't forget. 